It's a Friday, it's time for a Zara shop up now. It's the end of August and there's a part of me that's thinking, how much do I want to be spending this autumn? I just got my credit card bills and I'm thinking I've really spent this summer. So I might not be buying so much from Zara this season. It doesn't mean I'm gonna stop showing you what's in. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff this season on my wardrobe, but I'm gonna start off, because you ask me a lot, Lila, so you're already texting, um, with what I'm wearing, because you always ask me through this. So I, I am wearing a skirt from this season Zara. And because I bought it already, but I got it online, I've still got the label in. And I was thinking, do I want to keep it? So I might keep it very clean, wear it this morning and think, do I really want to keep it? How many of you have ever done that? Um, and then I'm wearing leggings from Zara, but they're, they're a um, really cheap fabric, 19 pound legging, but they're very good when you want to do the layering of a skirt over trousers and you don't want any zip showing. You know what I mean? You just want to feel they're like a, a jodhpur. Anyway, they do the effect. Um, old season coat from last summer from Zara, which I haven't worn very much, so that's why it's looking clean. And really old white pointed shoes, because as this is a slightly cropped legging and flared, I like the fact that we have the detail here and shows off the ankle. So that's my look today. <laughs> So now let's see what's in store. Um, it's always a weird time. It might be we don't find very much because it's that just for the bank holiday weekend. Okay, so starting off with a dress I might have shown you before in the last Zara shop up. It is a lovely dress. I thought about taking it on holiday. I bought it, but I took it back. Doesn't mean to say I didn't love it. I just felt I'd overindulged. And I think what's great is it's the cheese clothy fabric. It's got a really nice tie. I probably would use that tie because it's really pretty. You can wear it open over jeans with a t-shirt going into the autumn, and you can have it as a classic in your wardrobe for summer holidays and summer dressing. So it is great. It's natural fabric. Behind here is the, well, there's the dress everyone wore, spotty dress but they also did now a dress in blue, the same shape. So if you bought the spotty dress, that's quite nice. I feel this one needs a belt. There's something about it which makes you feel it's a tiny bit frumpy on its own, but I'm just giving you my opinion. It might look great on people. All right. There's a few things I did buy online. Um, I, I, in fact, spent about 800 quid. I bought so many things and I took 90% of it back, mainly because I got the credit card bills in, but also because I just thought, I have that already in my wardrobe. One or two things I didn't buy, which I'm gonna try on now, because I think it's really nice, um, is this coat. So this is like that classic coat that you, if you suit this color, and I think this color is a beautiful color for sort of black hair, pale skin, for blonde, blue eyed, peaches and cream skin. I think on anyone olivey, um, or what I call kind of sallow Scottish skin. It's not an easy color. I can wear it now because it's, uh, I've got a tan, but the cut is very nice. And imagine I haven't got the bag there. I think it's kind of a nice coat. Do you like it? Does it look good? I've got Lucy behind the camera today. Like but um, chic, white shirt, black trousers, timeless. and a trainer, timeless dressing, um, and a nice kind of grow grain wool combo, it's 89 pounds. Most coats at Zara now are 89 pounds. Um, okay, the jewelry is really, I'm, I'm loving it. These, I just adore. I keep putting these on and thinking, oh, can I wear it? And I can't, you've got to be like 12. Would you wear it, Lucy? No. No, we just can't. You can't do this if you did it the first time in 1980s. And that's why I can't do it again. That's the only reason, but Otherwise, it's great. I love these earrings. I do get these earrings, but I just love that fall. And all the earrings are quite uh, like 12 pounds, but just with a plain black dress, or even with this rose gold and the Monte, I'd love it with a white dress. Um, and just those earrings would be so beautiful. Plain black dress. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you stuff which I feel isn't a sort of fun standout. This, weird, but could be nice, okay? Because it's like, again, an essential, it's potential, essential. I've always been a sucker for grey flannel. This colour grey and the texture, it's slightly light for grey flannel. This is sort of grey cotton. £49. I would probably always wear this open as a layered piece. I wouldn't wear it closed. You could, but I wouldn't. Um, but just over a t-shirt, and I'm, it's going to be very difficult. I do this all with a bag here. I would take down, I'm not good, with that. 
if you're petite, you can do that arm up, but that just doesn't suit me. I need a sleeve. The thing is, the sleeve is too short for me. But if you're petite, this could be a lovely layering piece like that. I just like the color, I like the flow. You know, if you're uncomfortable about your tummy or your bum and you want to wear jeans, it's a very nice cut to your body in half. If you're pregnant, I always did this when I was pregnant and I'd have like a pregnancy jean, so the bump would be here, but you wouldn't see my sagging big ass and thighs at the back, it was just covered. So lovely piece, you can wear it till full term, full term, and you could just do up even, just do up the top button. But I quite like the side hanging down and the bump popping out. That has been in here for ages. I'm, you know, do you notice, Lucy, we're just looking at classics? If you don't have a white silk shirt, that is a really good white silk shirt. I love the cutawayness of the collar. Um, I like the double button sleeve. You can wear a jumper and just have that popping out and that round neck jumper look, would look beautiful. Um, and on its own, it's quite see-through, so you want to wear nude bras with that, and you don't want any lace underneath. That's how you want the look to be clean, clean, clean. I'd put Chloe in this if I had a V-neck um, uh, jacket over the top, because it's a really soft way if you've got bigger boobs. I think it's softer to wear this fabric than hard cotton. This kind of stuff, you know, I'm not ever going to take you anywhere near buying that. Interesting that I can really see I could so see a place for this. If I was purchasing, I now might, my credit card might be getting a bit fired up because that charcoal gray flannel thing, I might have those under it. They're like a cropped pull-on trouser. Um, really nice gray flannel with a white shirt buttoned down um, and a, a flat shoe, it's a nice look. And because they're cropped, I might do a gray sock and a shoe, a white trainer, but keep the leg looking long. I just like that stretchiness. That, you know, some of the fabrics, that does look cheap, cheaply made, already coming apart. Hmm, Zara, don't put that on the shop floor. Um, that's beautiful, I mean, this is interesting. That's a real sort of 1920s inspired dress. The color, is, let me just think what color, that's a sort of, it's not Eau de Neal, but it's a very beautiful, I'd call it sea green. Um, and I do like that sleeve. A part of me would want to belt that dress, but I think it reminds me, it's inspired by Fortuny. This dress for packing is fantastic. So if you're somebody who wants to, you know, have a dress that you never have to iron, this is really that roll and wrap dress. You see, you just do that shove it in your handbag and take it out to go out for dinner. I mean, you could, you could do that with this dress. Like that, shove it in your bag. Think, oh, I've got a date tonight, out it comes. I'd like to do it really quickly, but you know, it will look great. It's pretty, it is pretty. I like that, something, something in it. Um, those, I'm not, I'm not into that kind of whoosh moment. Um, oh, 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 I'll tell you, oh God, I hate it when I like something. I'm luckily not getting it because I don't suit pencil skirts, but I love a really white sequin because it just, look at me now. Hello. White, white sequin is incredible. It is your mirror underneath your face, giving you a better day. You don't even need to wear any London makeup. Um, but it's just, oh no, I'm gonna call. That's, I, I know, I'm just seeing the top. But that, with a white t-shirt, and it's a lovely length. It's kind of fabulous. It's fabulous, actually. Now, the top. I love the top, I love the top, what am I gonna do? because there was a white shirt. Do you remember the white shirt with a gathering? It's the same thing. Oh my God, it's so nice. That's XL. Okay, let me just, I, I know it's not the first September yet. So I've got a window. I've got a window of opportunity. Should I just put it on everything? I'm, I'm pathetically predictable, aren't I? I'm so pathetically predictable. The mic's gonna get, because I'm gonna put everything over the mic, but I just have to. 
and I bring something back, aren't I? Yes. Now, what I was worried about is that the sleeve might be... Oh my god, I can't not get it, can I? Put your name on it. And I love that sleeve, it's a tiny bit short for me, but I want to just wear it around the store because it makes you feel so good. Can I just tell you, this is a small, and um, I wouldn't get bigger than a small on this, so it's generous in its sizing. If I can get it off, which I can. Okay, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I do when I'm in store. And I don't know if you ever do this, but I'm just gonna do this if I have my phone. This is what I do. So I go up and I've got an app on Zara. This is, this is like the worst thing to do, but the best thing to do. You know when the queue is really, really long? You think, oh. So you get go here. I'm going up to search. I'm gonna to go to scanner. Many of you might know to do this anyway. There, <gasps> look at her. Um, and I'm just going to say, I'm gonna say extra small, actually. Um, and I'm going to say small as well. Now it's not showing in my shopping basket, which I'm really, oh, there it is. So I'm just there now, it's in my shopping basket. It's a way for me to see what there is. I'm not saying I'm buying it yet, I'm just loving it. Oh, look at that blue coat. Oh, I hate it when there's nice things because that coat color, that color is just, you know how much I love a cornflower blue. Oh. Oh. oh, even like this instant. Oh. No, I love it, but it's just like, I'm not buying. Just I'm not buying, it. Lila. No, you can't say just get it. Do you have a child like that? Just get it, no. This is going to be, this is going to be a hundredth of your school fee. Okay. That's a beautiful blue coat. There's no denying it. It's a beautiful blue coat. It's 119 pounds, that's expensive. 190 pounds, so what I'm gonna do, again, I'm just gonna scan it. Oh, I got another good layering piece, what are they? I haven't got that. I've got something similar to that. This, it, what's not good about going with your child sometimes is when you say, I can't spend money, and then they go, you've got that, why are you trying it? Okay. You know the grey, charcoal grey. This is like, I tell you, the end of August is a very good time, Lila, to get classic separates. Because you're not yet sure about how confident you feel about how much you want to follow a trend or a fashion of the season. So if you find a beautiful classic and you don't yet have it in your wardrobe and you think it will serve a purpose and it will actually bring other outfits together or allow you to wear those trousers that are a bit baggy on the bottom but you love the front. I'm just saying. Like that. What do we think of the back? It's a very nice blue too. It's a, you know what this color blue is called? Navy. No, French navy. French navy. French navy is slightly brighter, whereas um, royal navy, na like, you know, it's a kind of, what's it called? No, RAF blue, you know, that kind of grayish blue. But this is more French navy, it's a little brighter. Let's move on. I did get this shirt. I did get the shirt. It's still in my cupboard and I don't know if I'm going to take it back. I love the fact it's cotton. I love the fact that you could do this like bow here. I kind of did a bow like that. What I didn't like is how, actually I didn't open it up because you want the generosity of making a wider bow when you do this. You don't want that kind of tight bow. You want to widen it. So if you wear it and make a bow, make it a bow, you know, don't, don't fade it away, bring it all together. If you wear something slim, it's great. Um, if you don't have boobs, it's great. Weirdly, if you have boobs, sometimes a ruffle all the way down just diminishes the size of your boob. So, quite good. This, for those of you who like my coat I bought last year, is the equivalent. It's a little bit more creamy, and it's more of a raincoat fabric, but it's quite nice. This I've got, and I don't know whether to take it back or not. I'm not sure. This, which I did buy in a small and it felt really tight. So I'm gonna try the small on again and just see. Houndstooth, I think, 
I don't even know. I've looked up a little bit of the trends for this season, but Czech and Houndstooth have got a position in autumn winter fashion. And you've got to love Czechs and Houndstooth or not. But the small is a little bit tight on the arm for me. But I think because the print is quite strong, I don't want the jacket to be huge on me. I want to be quite fitted. I love the fabric. It's a, like a Chanel tweed. It's a really nice. When, when Zara do a Chanel tweed, they do it really well. I always know when I'm going to buy something if I start dancing when I'm wearing it. <laughs> that's so true, Lucy. Okay, so that might not be going back. That's the, that's, so I did keep more than 29 pounds worth because I kept this and the white shirt and the skirt and the leggings, so I did keep more. Okay. I just wish the heels will begin to change. I can't handle these kitten heels. I did the kitten heel the first time round and I'm just not prepared it looked terrible the first time around, so I'm waiting for a big chunky heel this season. I don't know if we're going to get it. It's a great cool boot, so if you have very thin calves or you want little skirts, it, a gold bronzy boot's a lovely idea. Lovely idea. Um, I have got this as well, 1999, my favorite jumper from Zara. Um, I usually, to me, they usually last about 20 times in the wash, but lilac, when you come back from holiday, have a tan and are a bronzy person, is such a pretty color. Does it work on you, Lilac? Everything works. Such confidence. God, I didn't give it to her. Well, not when I was her age, because I sure didn't have confidence Lila has. Um, OK. Oh, that is like, can I just tell you, we're going to go home. We're going to go home, and I'm going to show you my Prada silk jacket, identical to this. It's hidden from you. Identical to this with that little white. Oh, I know where it is. Identical. You know what Lila did last night? Can I just digress? Jacket. That you'll find it so funny, Lucy. So we're going round, and, and like before she goes to bed, we like to have a kind of play in the cupboard. And Lila always opens the cupboard and goes, "Hello, darlings. How are you? Can't wait for you to be mine." Close the cupboard door, opens up another cupboard. Says, "Hello, darlings. Have you missed me? I'm going to try you on soon." <laughs> Can you imagine? It's just so funny. Oh my God! That I'm sorry. That is chic. That is super chic. That is the best thing that we've tried on all day long. Ah. <laughs> and I love the length. I was looking this morning for a skirt to go, a, a, a jacket to go with this skirt. What a perfect length that is. Because if it was this length, the jacket, it would be like on the widest part of my bum. And with a skirt that's slightly pleated, you're aware just that those pleats flare out. So you don't want to like put the emphasis. So if the emphasis is a bit higher up, it's like when you wear, do you see it's like that and then there's narrowness here. And if it's down there, there'll be no gap. It's like when you wear a flare or a wide skirt, your ankles or legs look slimmer. Same principles apply. Love this. And the sleeve, I mean, just look at that sleeve. That sleeve is masterful. That, that, that is, it is Lila, it's masterful. <sighs> I n you know how, n how I never wear black, and you know that white shirt with the boof, boof, boof? Okay, control yourself, Trini, but I'm just going to put it on the app, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because September isn't here yet. September isn't here yet. Down here, I always feel at this time of year, it gets a bit blarish, but we're, so we're gonna really, we're gonna rip through. Oh. I don't know if I would do an organza overlay because the colour, you see, I can't wear shit brown. It doesn't work. Try it the right way round. Yeah, I'm thinking for Chloe. That's so Chloe. That is so Chloe, and I can wear it the other way around. This might be a Friday twinning soon. I'm going to order it for Chloe and I. These belts are so cool. I bought it already. Um, yeah, I did. These belts, <laughs> I, just say, I, say, I did buy this in that set. I haven't sent that one back yet. No, so pretty. That. that belt, magnificent. Black dress that's become boring, winched in with that belt, fabulous. Um, what other, there's another really good belt because it's stretchy. This one, there. You know, you always ask me about stretchy belts and where to get them. They're always about 19 or 29 quid. But that winches you in.
but also if you're short-waisted and you want to do winched in and you're really short-waisted having too thick here doesn't work but when it goes in here and it's less wide at your waist in the middle it means it winches in the sides because you're tiny waist but doesn't foreshorten your body and if you're long-waisted it's just wide enough to give you the right proportion okay all the belts are lovely I wouldn't do that one maybe I don't know nothing oh it's still here I do love it I have to just point it out it's such a sweet bag and I've worn it all summer long and I adore it and I'm so glad it's still here okay let's go to the end and to the left oh this I like you know the blue fluffy dress I wore on Instagram this is a black version the only difference is that there's no pockets but Cheryl um, if any of you follow Trini London she wore it the day we wished a happy birthday and she wore that really three-tiered um, gold pearl necklace with it and it looked amazing on her and Cheryl is 14 16 curvy great bone structure suits black and white beautifully she wore a white shirt underneath with a white cuff pointing out white collar the the necklace it was amazing Charlotte our makeup artist went I love your dress Cheryl where's it from she tried the one on I was sending back I don't know if she got it it's a great dress if you suit black especially if you put white detail on the collar and cuff because it brings it to another level this is that different kind of sequin um, but this is a really pretty sequin that Zara do a lot it's that stretchy sequin and if you've got big boobs it's a great way to wear sequins Susanna ages ago had a black top by Giambi Stavali or somewhere and it was black net with black here it's, I can't remember who it was by actually but it acts like a bustier so it's not like giving you a uni boob and I just think this shape top does sort of work but I'm worried that the sequins here too I want it to not have sequin here and to have the net all the way down worth trying I mean worth Chloe trying actually and seeing if that works but interesting and I love the way they've done it with a cargo pant sometimes I think the best way to wear sequins is to dress them down that's cool that is cool cool and yet could be very cheap actually no we're not gonna go there okay all right this is all you know if you're blonde olive skinned you'll just live and die in this in this melange of color um, for me this is colors that kill my skin hair and eye combination khakis and, and dirty blushes and rusty reds and and beiges but if you're olivey skin brown hair blonde hair like blonde hairs brown eye, it can beautiful color combination like this too this is like I'm just I run a mile for this I did get this okay and I took it back I think I saw it you know sometimes they don't do clothes justice on the site and equally they make them sometimes look better than they are but I saw this and there was something I really liked about the idea of layering because I liked there's something I loved about that and something I loved about you know I love a fluted sleeve but I it just it didn't work yet I might still try it I don't know if I sent it back or not I can't remember but it was interesting it comes in only two sizes but something I would layer with something white underneath I wouldn't wear it just with that that underneath I don't know why I just feel and you need something longer for the proportion this is another thing that I saw online and I thought it's fab and I didn't realize it was a really pale lilac and I got it and then it just felt like my lovely granny when she did a blue rinse that kind of lilac and that wasn't the kind of lilac I wanted to wear I really I wanted this to be in white and I actually wanted it to be that way around so I sent that back it's good to see what I didn't keep actually um, it's kind of cute that is if you suit black that's a cute dress would you wear that Lila there's something cute about the uh, the maybe it's sort of grungy cool rock chick in the right way wearing it with some sort of um, black flat boots or high white trainers it's a it's the kind of dress you need to dress down okay there's this little thing something there's something I like about the principles of this outfit but I'd wear it this way round there's something what do we think there's something interesting about that Let me just put that against me 
Yeah, definitely wearing it back to front. It's interesting, isn't it? And the colour is fresh. I'm going to call that in and see what that's like. Well, not call it in. I'm going to buy it, try it, and see. Is there anything else? Oh, there's more sequin over there. You know what, though? This is a soupçon. I, what I'm saying is, is it worth coming in this week for a little genre shopper? Yes. Some great classics, one or two wonderful black and white pieces, and a little bit of something mad. And that's always the balance of what we want when we go for a shop up. Bye.